Detroit Pistons go to Milwaukee to visit the Bucks. The Pistons coming off a big win over the Golden State Warriors. Straight up, the Bucks are laying 13 points. The total's at 224 and a half. It's always tough for me to try to pick games like this. It's what we talked on the show a lot about last year. These big spreads are really hard to model. When you get out to that kind of end from numbers perspective, a lot of weird stuff happens on the fringes. So I'm going to stay away from this one. Now, Ski, I don't know if you like the side or the total, but you did find a look here. You think Giannis is going to have a big night, don't you? I do. And I actually, the more I look at this game, I do like uh, the side. Uh, but I know purposes of the show – uh, my pick is Giannis over 50 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. And I know it's a crazy number, but he's averaging more than that this year. Um, his last four games, uh, I think he surpassed that. And he kills this Detroit team. I think the last three times he's played him, he's had 30-plus points at least. They do not have a center. Um, Duran, I know, is out. There's no Bagley. Stewart, he's like 6'8". And I know he's been playing you know, hard and playing good, but going up against Giannis tonight with no paint protection – that's a recipe for a disaster. So I think he gets whatever he wants. Um, Detroit, like I mentioned, um, I didn't put a number to it, but they're 26 points in the paint against. So I just think he feasts tonight, whether it's on the boards, whether it's, um, you know, scoring, or if they start to double him, you know, kick it out to some guys for some assists. So I like his look. But even more than that, too, I like – more I think about it, I like Milwaukee. And these teams will play again um, in two days. It'll be another one of those mini series kind of deals. Milwaukee has covered the spread. They just they own this team. They've covered the spread 13 of the last 16 meetings. And um, usually, you know, it's a big point spread just like this, Alex. And I feel like a lot of times I wasn't getting to the window. And I think about it after the game, and I'm like, that was so easy. I'm looking at it by halftime. They're at about 30 already. So the first quarter margin so far for Milwaukee this year, plus 4.6, minus 2.6 for Detroit. First half, plus 6.6 Milwaukee, minus 4.6. Or that was backwards. I'm sorry. First quarter and first half. But you get the idea. <laughs> and the last couple of times they've been playing, like I mentioned, the game has been over. Um, and the ones, there was one where the Pistons won, the game before the last meeting. But other than that, it was 30 to 8 after the first quarter. Game before that, they were about 12 at half, about 18 at half, about 26 at half. Like, it, it, they own this team. So this will be a game, even though it, it, it won't be on the show's picks. Um, I will be on Milwaukee Smack City spot, which is first quarter, first half, and full game. And purposes of the show, I'm on Giannis over 50 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. You make a good point. I'm going to have to dust off some numbers and take a look at this because it's something, Chris, we talked about last year. Big spreads tend to cover. Big totals tend to go over. Low totals tend to go under. Again, those extremes kind of get pretty funky. But um, anything that stuck out to you in this game, anything important for the people to know? No, I think Ski covered it really well. Um, you know, Pistons' impressive performance against the Warriors. It wasn't uh, it wasn't pretend too. I mean, they they outshot the Warriors in that game. Uh, I believe they got more rebounds than the Warriors in that game too. They just played better. Uh, they played better than the Warriors at home and in spots. You know, they're a young team that can do that. Cunningham had a good day, game. Sadiq Bay had a good game. But yeah, to Ski's point, uh, Bucks have owned this team. The only reason why I don't I don't have a play on this is because it's exactly where I have the line. But you know the Pistons coming off that big win just last night, and now they're going to Milwaukee. So you got you know less than 24 hours to convert over into this game and face the Bucks at home, which the Bucks haven't won a game this year that was close. Right, all all these games are by some margin, except for that first game against the 76ers. The Bucks look in prime form. They're beating potential um, Eastern Conference playoff teams. You know, they're a juggernaut again. Giannis owns them again. I really like the prop play by Ski. You know, the only contrarian thought there is if they put this game away early, obviously he could rest a little bit. But that's always a thought, right, when you face these inferior teams. He shouldn't have any issues, that's for sure, especially in the first half. So look at the Bucks only in this one. Sometimes there are upsets in the NBA, but the, ups, the, the, the probabilities for the Pistons beating the Bucks in this spot off of a big win – are just low, I mean, extremely low. There's no such thing as a lock, ladies and gentlemen, but I can't imagine. 
that could happen. Yeah, I think you guys might have talked me into another bet. I might be laying the 13, but I was just looking here, Ski. Um, you know, when you pull up the schedule for teams in ESPN, they show you high points, high rebounds, and assists. And I can really just see Giannis's points and rebounds, but I'm looking one, two, three, four, four out of five games. All you needed was points and rebounds to go over that 50 and a half number. 34 and 17 last game. 30 and 14 the game before that. So I guess you needed the assist there. 43 and 14, you're good. 44 and 12. I mean, he's just been putting up huge numbers over and over again. Chris, you make a good point. Maybe he gets rested, but I think that's a good look. He can get that, honestly, in, in three quarters time anyway. So just one play here for the team. It's a playoff prop. Ski is going to be taking Giannis Attentacumpo over 50 and a half points, rebounds, and assists all combined. You can find that just about everywhere. It's nice that player props are everywhere now.